Welcome back, Math Masters, you fabulous fourth graders. You guys are working hard today. Pretty difficult math. All right, so uh, we're going to get our problem set. And, wow. This is one long problem set. I'm going to shorten it up a little bit. Thank you, Mr. Leggett. You're welcome. Okay, so it is on page... Fifty-one. So let's go to page fifty-one. Oh, nine, eleven, twenty, twenty. All righty. So our first problem says our first. We're only going to do this side right here because we've been working really hard today. It says uh, estimate first and then solve each problem. Model the problem with a tape diagram. Explain if your answer is reasonable. On Monday, a farmer sold 25,196 pounds of potatoes. On Tuesday, he sold 18,023 pounds. On Wednesday, he sold the same... Oh, he sold some more potatoes. In all, he sold 62,409 pounds of potatoes. So this is about how many pounds of potatoes did the farmer sell on Wednesday? Estimate by rounding the nearest value uh, to the nearest thousand and then com compute. Okay. So they want to find out how many um, he sold on Wednesday. So um, on Tuesday, oh boy, so we really got to go. We got to round to the nearest thousand. So we're going to have 25,196 and 18,023. All right. So 25,196. And we're going to round it to the nearest thousand. And 18,023. 18,000. 23, and we're going to round that to the nearest thousand too. Well, is this closer to 25,000 or 26,000? Much closer to 25,000. Is this closer to 18,000 or 19,000? Well, it's only 22 away from 18,000, so we're going to round to 18,000. Okay, now we're ready to add. Okay, 0, 0, 0. 5 plus 8 is 13. Bring up the 1, 2, 3, 4. So he sold about 43,000 pounds on um, uh, Monday and Tuesday. Altogether, he sold 62,409 pounds. So let's look at this, 62,409. You're like, Mr. Lady, what's going on here? Well, we're gonna round to the nearest thousand. Is this closer to 62,000 or 63,000? If you said 62,000, you're right, because that's less than 500. So we're gonna go 62,000. So now what I need to do is take my 62,000 and subtract 43,000. Okay. Whoops. Ah, I went around the table. Paper. Huh, I think I'm out of range there. Hold on. Let's do that over here. Okay. We'll say, I'm going to go right down here. So we're going to take our 62,000 and subtract 43,000. So zero, zero, zero. Can't take 3,000 away from 2,000, so we'll decompose the 10,000s to 5, make that a 12, or 12,000s, 12,000s minus 3,000s is 9,000s, and 5, 10,000s minus 4 10,000s is 1 10,000. So there we have it, we're at 19,000, okay? And hopefully you had enough room to write it up there, because um, we're gonna do this part too, but I'll do it on my big piece of paper. So about 19,000 pounds were sold on uh, Wednesday. Now, our next part of the problem says, Find the, prob the precise number of potatoes sold on Wednesday. So now we're going to use the actual numbers, okay? Let's do that right now. 25,916 plus 18,022. Go ahead and pause the tape and figure that one out on your own. And welcome back. Here we go. 6 plus 2 is 8. 1 plus 2 is 3. 9 plus 0 is 9. 5 plus 8 is 13. Bring up the 1, 2, 3, and 4. 43,938. Now, we got to do some subtraction, right? 43,948. And we're going to subtract the amount, the exact amount of potatoes that were sold, um, excuse me, on, for the whole week. So I'm going to put 62,409. And here we go. 9 minus 8 is 1. I can't take 4 tens away from 0 tens, so I'm going to decompose the hundreds, bring 10 tens over here, right? 10 minus 4 is 6, or 10 hundredths minus 4 tens is 6. I can't take 9 hundredths away. I can't subtract 9 hundredths away from 3 hundredths, so we're going to decompose the 10 thousandths to 1. This will become, because uh, it gets 10 hundredths, so it's 13 hundredths minus 9 hundredths is 4. 
And then we could decompose our 10,000s and give them over here. So it's 11,000s minus 3,000s is 8,000s and 5. 10,000s minus 4 10,000s is 18,461. Our estimate was 19,000, remember? So it's reasonable. It came out pretty close. And now let's do C. It says, is your pre pre precise amount reasonable? Compare your estimate from A to your answer from B. Write a sentence to explain your reasoning. Okay, so here's my estimate. And here is my exact Okay, which one's greater? Well, the estimate is greater, but how much greater, okay? 19,000 minus 18,461, that's a good one to practice on. Go ahead and pause the recording and do the math, and this will be it for the day, and then you can log on to Zern. And welcome back, look at all those zeros. We know what to do. Decompose here, this becomes a 10, 10 hundredths, but we gotta decompose again, so it's nine hundredths. This becomes 10 tens, but we've got to decompose again. It becomes 9 tens, and this becomes 10 ones. 10 ones minus 1 one is 9. 9 tens minus 6 tens is 3. 9 tens minus 4 tens is 5. And one second. And 8 thousands minus 8 thousands. Whoa, that would be... That would be zero, Mr. Leggett. Yes, it would be, Math Mud. Glad you can finally join us. And then the one ten thousand minus the other ten thousand is zero. But you don't need to put the zeros there. Don't do that. Okay, I'm sorry, Math Mud. So our answer is what? It's only 539. Well, do you think that's reasonable? I like to say that word too. Reasonable. Yes, it's reasonable. There's only 539 difference between your rounding and your actual. So I say it's very reasonable. Well, thank you very much, Math Mutt. I appreciate your input. You are always welcome here. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that was a lot of math to get through. I hope you did the lessons and, and took, took your time and paused when you had to pause, because that's the only way you're going to learn this as uh, long distance learners. Okay, I will see you at 1030 after re uh, when recess starts. Bye.